Okay, hello and welcome to Smithers Hall. That there's a, a flat screen television in case it's you're wondering what that is, so I'll just show you the behind of it as well. This is a tea room. You're probably wondering why I'm filming in a tea room. Well, I've got to start somewhere, so this is the first point of entry for me, so Yeah, it's beautiful, it's really nice, it's very welcoming. I'm sure at some point this room would have been uh, a living room of some description with a, an open fire there, sitting round smoking big cigars and, and, and smoking pipes and drinking whiskey and brandy. Um, you, you get the gist of where I'm coming from, but now it's... It's modern day, it's the year 2023. A lot of things have changed since then to now. So yeah, it's been so many years since... I honestly can't remember. I know we filmed here with Most Haunted... 18 years ago, I'll say 18 years ago. So that's, I think, was the last time I was here. I could be wrong. So I do stand to be corrected. Yeah. Um, my honest opinion when walking through here doesn't feel like anything and it doesn't because you've still got the light coming through. It's still daytime outside. It's in the evening. It's gone eight o'clock, so it's still light. Um, there are noises around. Carl is upstairs. The upstairs, I believe, are officers. So I'm just gonna concentrate down here. I honestly don't believe, just from walking through initial reaction, this is, I've come in cold to this place. I've walked through the door, I've grabbed the camera, and I'm doing a ghost hunt. But my initial reaction is, it doesn't feel like anything other than a nice building to be in. And that's not me putting a negative spin on this. It's just an honest reaction. But now it feels differently now. We're in some kind of library and the atmosphere in here now is completely different. My voice isn't traveling as far now as it would in that kitchen area. So again, in there, didn't feel anything in here, feels completely different. So you see where I'm going with all this. I just focus that up a bit there. Here we go, Stu Pop. Yeah, we'll pan the camera around. Howdy. Yeah. And it's it's good, you know, just to not ask out straight away. Just to talk. Just let them know you're here. Don't really need to get into any conversation with them. Just for me. Just to waffle on and do what I do best, basically, and just talk nonsense. Well, I think I talk nonsense, but other people might think differently. But this is for the spirits, so they can get used to me. They don't know me. I don't know them. I know nothing about them. Look at this craftsmanship that we're looking at here. I've seen a few Christmases that would work, hasn't it? Hey, okay. yeah, it sure has. Who was the person who carved that face out? Who is he? What was his name? What did he have for lunch the day he carved out that face? And where are his family today? And he's still living. Obviously they are. They must be somewhere. And where's he buried? That's how I tend to look at things. Slightly different. Other people might see things like that. Others may just look at them and just bypass it and move on and look at something else. 
Hello? Can you hear my voice? I'm going to go back into the tea room because I'll tell you why I've just heard a chair like someone's just pulled the chair out to sit down now that really shouldn't be happening in all fairness sorry I just banged into the door then that's why the camera shuddered let me just look at these I didn't look at the chairs when I came in I had no need to it's almost like if um, I put this camera down here, now I'm going to reenact what I've heard, okay? Slightly different from that, but pretty much the same. But the thing is, there is nothing, not that I can see, is out of place. I'm probably clutching at straws, but this chair looks slightly out of position and not in line. So if I push that in there that should be in there like so and so should this one but I know what you're thinking it's not gonna it's not that chair Stuart just because both of those chairs aren't in situ it doesn't mean to say it was one of those chairs that moved I'm not saying it is I'm not saying those two were the chairs I'm just saying those two chairs from everything else look out of place to the rest of them because everything is in order everything is in squareness you see everything's flat and level i don't know i don't know i honestly don't know but we'll, we'll forget that but that's what we've heard that's what we've had so far We'll carry on. I wasn't expecting that in all fairness. It didn't come from upstairs. I wouldn't have thought for a second that would have been Carl. There's no need for him to sit down. He may have done. I don't know. And all I was doing was talking out and talking about that face. Someone carving out the face in the woodwork. And then I panned over here. And then we've got the chair like someone pushing the chair out. Maybe there was a gentleman pulling a chair out for a lady to sit down or a gentleman or a lady themselves were sitting down. It could be that. It may not be any of anything I've just said, but you've heard it, so you make your mind up. You know as much as I do, okay? So we'll just carry on further down there now as though nothing has happened. Yeah, that's interesting, that, that is good. I didn't expect that at all, in all honesty. So, that there is what we call a brucey. That is a brucey bonus, folks. I wasn't expecting it. Good game, good game. So we've got some stairs going up there. Something strange about that clock, that grandfather clock. Hmm. It looks quite haunting, in all fairness. 
probably look even more haunting. The doors open on that. You see it. Now that seems a bit odd, that door being open. Maybe it just it doesn't close. Anyway, we'll forget that. I haven't been up these stairs, people. Um, I'm sure there is CTV cameras um, circulated around somewhere. I, I don't know, but if that was me... Oh, there's one there. There is a camera there. So if I did go up the stairs, the people in charge would see me there, okay? So I'm just letting you know I've not opened that door. I'm trying to be as honest and transparent as I possibly can. That door still open. Okay. What's in here? Oh, another sitting room. Very nice. This must have been the parlour where they entertained each other. Another. That's a big old grandfather clock, isn't it? It's beautiful, that. Really nice. The time isn't working on it, but it's still right twice a day. Yeah, really nice. Beautiful fireplace with a, a nice built-in mirror above that. Wow, how nice is that? Oh, I bet that could tell some stories, couldn't it, that mirror? And the fireplace. The conversations people would have had sat round the fireplace and even stood in front of it. Are there any spirits here who would have um, indulged in the evening's activities around this fireplace? If so, could you please make yourself be known to me? My name is Stuart. I don't mean you any harm. You're probably wondering what on earth I'm doing here. Okay, Mrs. Ainsworth Drawing Room, originally built in the 1500s, renovated in 1870s, it says it there folks, 1870s, yeah, so it's a drawing room. Maybe that lady still haunts this building to this day, who knows. Maybe that was her who sat down in the dining room. Through there. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. We will never know. If there are any ladies here, could you please make yourself be known to me? Again, my name is Stuart. If you have anything you'd like to say to me, you're more than welcome to. I'm not here for any other reason than just to, to communicate with yourself or whoever may be here with yourselves. If there's more than one spirit here, I'm sure you understand what spirits are. Uh, when you was a living human being, you would have understood, understood certain terminologies like ghosts, poltergeists and spirits. And I'm sure you would have dabbled in Ouija boards as well. Maybe you did do Ouija boards here, and you did get spirits coming through. And maybe the table did lift. Well, maybe you would like to do the same for me now and come and communicate with me. I know nothing about you. I know very little to none of who you are, other than this used to be a drawing room in the 1500s. Well, it was built in the 1500s. I'm reading it now. I'm renovated in the 1870s. Would you like to come and touch me? Would you like to come and touch this hand here that I'm holding up? You're more than welcome to, if you want to rub your fingers across the palm of my right hand, you can do, as a sign so I know you're here. No, 
that can't be that can't be right Nat my hand gone all tingly is it because I've got my hand like that I don't know like pins and needles it's gone now maybe that was you touching my hand then it couldn't have been could it who knows the chair moved in that room didn't it so we have to revert back to that every time something happens now, every time we feel something. You know, we know the chair moved. I held my right hand up then. I had a, a tingling sensation and in my fingers. Was that the lady of this beautiful location? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to stand there and say it was. I think that'd be a bit wrong and a bit big-headed, really, wouldn't it? Now it's all... My hand is all tingly now. It's all tingly. Maybe the power of suggestion has, has slipped in. Now I've said it. Now it's happening. Yeah. Can you please move something? I'm going to leave this room now and I'm going to go into this section here. Again, it's strange, isn't it? This is completely different. A different environment, it has a different smell to it. I understand it how they have different smells. We're going to go from night vision, everyone, just to daytime vision there. Just so you know what's going on outside. All right. Now we'll go back to night vision. There we go. Maybe these um, locations do pump certain smells in for the ambience and the feel. Maybe that does go on. Um, I know it does go on. There was a few haunted houses that I visited uh, while over in America and I know they pump certain smells in and you do get that in the UK as well. It's for the effect, maybe that's the case here and that's fine but it puts you in the environment, it puts you in that time period of what certain things were like but this has a completely different energy and feel to this, different to the uh, tea room, different to the parlour or the drawing room. I don't know this, I don't know what I'm picking up, I'm not picking anything up because I'm not a medium and I'm not going to stand there and say I have some ability when I have no, I have no ability whatsoever. You understand. It just has a different feel to it. But I'm intrigued to know, I know I keep going on about the chair, but I, I want to know why that happened. I'd like to know. Are there any male spirits here that wish to communicate with little old me? Little old me being Stuart. I'm 49 years of age. I live near Manchester. Obviously you lived in Bolton and that's where we are now in Bolton in a building called Smithers Hall. Maybe you're still roaming around and you're sitting in one of these chairs right now looking at maybe there's two of you looking at me thinking who on earth is out there with that thing that contraption in his hands well this contraption is called a camera and it records your image and it also records the sound that comes from your vocal cords in other words your voice now then 
I've just heard a ting. It was almost like a bell, like a half a ring of a bell. Is there a bell in here? I can't see anything. <clears throat> I did hear that, we heard that didn't we guys, a half a ring, that's all it was, it wasn't a full ring. I'll explain it to you, but the people who watch this don't need it explaining because you know what a half a ring sounds like, but I'll explain the bell. Um, when you go to a hotel, you have the, the bell to catch the reception's attention and and you hit the top of it and it goes ding that kind of bell well this was a half a ring and that's what we've just heard now and I'm just looking round there isn't, I'll point the camera around so you can see yourselves you might see something that I can't we've got a lamp they look like two urns but they're not urns a book and a pair of spectacles on the top. Okay. Two cups and saucers. Two, if you like, kettles on that table. Uh, there's a light in the far corner to the left, next to the picture frame. Two chairs, and up ahead there is a sewing machine. Um, a hand wound sewing machine, there you go, but I see no bell. Maybe there's something around the side, but I'm not going to cross. Um, not crossing the rope. Can't see anything round there. So we're going to leave that. If that was you that rang the bell, or an attempt to ring the bell, maybe you didn't have the energy to, or you couldn't muster up the energy to press the bell down to its full capacity, but you could only do it slightly, and that was you trying to get my attention. Well, if it was, I want to say thank you very much because you've got my attention and everyone at home and anyone around the world who'll be watching this you'll have their attention also yeah you've just got crystals on there yeah the colonial Ainsworth room okay happy choppy there in his garden pruning his roses I don't know what's going on there I can't uh, yeah, it looks like a coffin or something maybe The Ainsworth family owned Smithers Hall from 1801 until 1938. Well, there we go. But I see no bell. I see no bell. But then again, there doesn't have to be a bell here. There may have been one here years gone by. Yeah. That's two things. I don't expect anything to happen. In all fairness, I didn't expect those two things to happen. Yeah. It's um, quite, quite pleasurable, really, to, to witness that kind of stuff. Very rare you see stuff in action. Now and again, maybe, once in a blue moon. Um, we generally get to hear more and feel more then we get to physically see something. But yeah, that was good. That's a sign there's something here. 
but it's frustrating really because I want to get to the end of what that bell and what that chair was and why those things happened. I can only guess, this is all guesswork, what you're hearing from me now. These aren't the actual facts. I can't, I don't have the right to stand here and give you the facts because I don't have them. I can only go off what's happened and give you my rough verdict and nothing else other than that. And the rest really is down to you guys at home because you might know something more about this building than I ever will. I'm sure there'll be people watching this who worked here, who have worked here, and, and who had family work here decades ago. I'm just giving a, a small glimpse to what's going in now in the year 2023. August, to be precise. We'll see if that door's still open. Yes, it is. It's not closed. It's still open, so I'm guessing. It's just one of those doors that doesn't close. Because you do get them with these clocks. Because over time, they wear out, don't they? The sides, the locks wear. You've got to understand these things are, uh, you know, they've got a few hundred years under the belt of being open and closed. So maybe. But I thoroughly enjoyed that. For what that was, for what it is, and for where I've been, and for the area that's been covered, I haven't really scratched the surface, but then again, you don't need to be jumping from room to room like a monkey. Sometimes you just need to gracefully just ease your way through each room at a set time. That's all. Nothing more. Yeah, thank you so much, spirits, for everything you've done. Maybe you're listening to me now. And you can hear my voice and thank you for all that's happened. Take care and hopefully our paths will cross soon.